So we've got a good start here in terms of our tortoise meat page. We need a few testimonials since few people have actually eaten tortoise meat. Let's go ahead and find some folks who have and say, for example, um, what people are saying. Now you might see this and say, hey, that's a little naked looking there. And it is, even though it's not a grammarian wouldn't call it a paragraph, I think we can call that a paragraph. And then let's go ahead and just copy and paste some uh, quick uh, um, testimonials here. Is this a paragraph? It is, but it's a special kind of paragraph. In this case, I think I'm going to call it an LI, which is a list item. List item. And then we'll um, we'll do the same for the uh, rest of these. We'll call this one a list item and this one a list item. We need to make sure we close those. So now we have three list items. These are all part of an unordered list, UL and we'll end the unordered list right here, UL. So let's go ahead and save this. File, save, or control S, and then we can reload it. <clears throat> this is how we get those pretty looking bullet points. So an unordered list results in most browsers, the development of this kind of list of things with bullet points next to them. Again, we can change the way this looks in CSS, but not in HTML. HTML is to tell us that this is a list, and that these are the points. There's another kind of list called an ordered list. Instead of unordered, it's OL, ordered list. And if we take a look at that, um, this numbers the items one, two, three. So those are two of the three kinds of lists in HTML. Lists are really important in ways that you might not expect. Um, you know, there are other tags that we haven't touched on, like block quote, that are really used in fairly rare examples of using a block quote. Lists are used pretty frequently on websites, not just for things like this, but also anytime you see, for example, the navigation for a site, it is in most cases a list of items, that is, a list of places you could go. So lists, as an idea, are used pretty frequently on the web. When something isn't exactly a paragraph, it's probably a list. And so we use especially unordered lists quite frequently. Um, I'll leave you on your own to find that third piece, which is definitional lists, for when you create lists of definitions.